We're getting ready to go to the store. So we've got to go get some groceries really quick. Um, Fairview is ready. Fairview's already, already. And I've got to get her shoes on. I'm trying to decide if she needs a shirt with this. Um, she has her really thick, like her one tigress vest on. And it's like 61 out. So I don't know. She gets hot. So I don't want to make her have anything too hot. But at the same time, you know, I don't want to. I'm going to put you guys down. So I can get her shoes on her. I don't want to put anything too hot on her, but I also don't want to, you know, make her be cold either. We're going to go to a store. I don't know which one yet. I was going to go to a local store, but now I'm kind of thinking we might go to Walmart. I don't know how much I'll get to film in the store because um, I kind of just want to go get groceries and not necessarily stand there and film the whole entire time. We just got to Walmart. I have anxiety so bad and like, I don't know. I started feeling it on the way over here really, really bad. And then now I'm just like, ooh, I don't know. It's not cool. We're back in the car. That went really well, of course. Like, I don't know why I'm surprised. I mean, Fairby's been doing this for a while now. One thing that didn't go so well is on the way out, the lady at the checkout, she was being really nice, but she was like, oh, aren't you a beautiful poodle? You're such a good girl. And Fairby didn't say anything. And Fairby ignored her, actually pretty good. Um, But I had to tell the lady, I was like, yeah, you know, she's supposed to ignore me. Well, why is she supposed to ignore me? I was like, well, she's working, you know, and she needs to pay attention to me. She's like, oh, okay. And she just stood back and then she goes, that's, she told the lady who was also working there. She's like, that right there is how you can tell they're real is because of, they act like that one, which made me feel really good. But it was kind of like, if you know that's what they're supposed to act like, if they're real, why would you <laughs> like run up and talk to her? But anyway, she said a lot of times people try to sneak their dog in and they're barking and stuff and basically she was complimenting that Fairby was being good which i super appreciate of course funny how people do that they're like telling you how great your dog is for not being a fake and then they're trying to like test it out or something i don't know but um so there's a lady parked next to us who's smoking and i'm very very allergic to smoke um so i had to put Fairby in this way which i just did this so i could get out of the car or out of the air basically i'm sure that sound quality on this is gonna suck too so sorry about that we're back from the grocery store i got bread 
two things of coffee. Guys, this coffee is legit, okay? Um, I'm a coffee person. Like, I drink coffee all day, every day. And I like this as good as the Starbucks coffee. Uh, not for you. Sugar. So I also got a couple cans of beans. Um, I just got pink beans, red beans, and black beans. I eat a lot of beans. Um, I eat beans probably at least half the nights of the week. Usually I try to have salads, and then if I'm out of salad stuff, then I usually try to have beans. Um, so if you guys are interested in the bean thing, like I can't explain it. I mean, I'm, I'm not even gonna attempt. Look up bean protocol, and there's this whole thing where it actually helps your body to detox. That's why I eat a lot of beans. Like I eat beans several days a week. I'm gonna try to explain very briefly how I heard about this. So there's this lady, she was actually a scientist and her daughter had gotten poisoned by some type of um, pest control stuff. This was back maybe the early 80s, late 70s. Her daughter was not gonna make it. I don't know if she just knew because of that from studying things with science, if she just knew that, hey, beans have whatever where it pushes toxins out of your body but still lets you absorb nutrients i don't know i don't know how she knew that and i don't even know if i'm explaining it right but anyway so this lady back you know whenever 40 years ago we'll say um she ended up having her daughter get completely detoxed from whatever was poisoning her um the hospitals couldn't save her or anything and then like the daughter's like you know I don't know, like 40s maybe now. So she made it obviously, and she wasn't supposed to make it like according to the hospitals and stuff. So that was how I first heard about it. I am totally screwing that story up, but check it out because it's really cool. Um, like if you have toxins, toxins in your body, and I know a lot of people struggle with that kind of stuff, like um, digestion issues and also just toxins in general. You know, if you ever, if you're a person who's very sensitive to chemicals and things and you ever are exposed to something, it's very hard for you to get past that. So um, yeah, check it out. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up about that, but I hope that this has been interesting and maybe educational for you too. Um, like I said, check it out. I'll try to link some resources below um, just in case you are interested. And we'll see you tomorrow.